Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, when you start loving unconditionally, you stop judging people. Now, unconditional love is really my favorite topic. I never knew what unconditional love really was because I felt that I came from a family background that didn't know how to give love. This was passed down from generation to generation following the Second World War. When my grandparents from my mother's side came out of the war alone with all of their family killed in the Holocaust, they had to build a new life for themselves. And they quickly got married and had my mother. And my mother was born to parents who had been through so much suffering and abuse that they forgot what really love was. And survival was the main thing on their mind, even after the war. My parents, uh, my mother's parents, always were in survival mode and never really allowed her the opportunity to receive love from them, from her parents, as we know it today. She was sent to boarding school at the age of eight because my grandmother started to have serious mental health issues after the horrors she went through in the Holocaust. Now, as a result of her rigid upbringing, my mother became a rigid person. In all of my almost 50 years on this life in this world, I never saw my mother cry once. She would get angry, but she would never ever cry. Even when we buried my grandfather, her father, she didn't cry. Now I am quite the opposite. I cry even in Mickey Mouse films. As a, but as a young child, I never witnessed uh, much love or affection from my mother. I was never touched or hugged. And although this type of upbringing is harsh, I learned from this upbringing to give love even when none is received. Now, this, of course, did not happen overnight, but it came from a deep understanding of my background and the family history that I came from. I learned unconditional love and compassion at an early age, which came to my help later on with the birth of my two eldest daughters with mental disabilities. No matter the difficulty, I was ready and prepared from my life experiences to give them the unconditional love that they deserved, no matter if I would get anything in return. And I learned that you can absolutely love someone, even if you get very little back from them. It is actually a virtue to give love unconditionally. Loving someone unconditionally is also always a choice that we can make. When I went through divorce with my second husband, it was through unconditional love for him that allowed us to have such a pleasant divorce, if you could say that. Really, it was a pleasant experience. And to remain good friends like we are today, we're like brother and sister now. Now, I know this may sound pretty weird, <laughs> but this is how it feels for us today. Um, and during our divorce settlement that we wrote together, we took into consideration the other person's wishes and desires, and we came to a good agreement for both of us, a win-win situation. I felt a true desire for him to be happy. I wanted him to be happy and to live happily. And this could not have happened without having unconditional love for my ex-husband. And unconditional love for others happens when you learn to have unconditional love and acceptance for yourself. You accept yourself as you are with your shortcomings and your gifts. We are all humans and we all have gifts and we all have shortcomings. And if we come from a place of trying to understand the behavior of the other person and what motivates their behavior, then we can become more at ease with difficult behaviors. In fact, when you release your expectations from any situation, you will never be disappointed and you can only be surprised for the better. This is a sense of freeness, of freedom that comes from being who you really are without trying to change yourself to please other people or without trying to be someone that you are not. And this takes courage. Being yourself is really an act of courage because there is so much to be gained from conforming to a group, being like the rest of the group. But uh, since there is no real risk when conforming to a group, there is also no real gain. Being yourself also allows other people to be themselves around you, 
with no fear of losing by being themselves. And when you give unconditional love and acceptance to yourself, you will have love and acceptance surround you always because as you appreciate yourself, you will also appreciate everything that surrounds you and the world around you and the people around you. Now, living in unconditional love makes the world a kinder place to be in and makes your experience of the world much happier. Now, since giving unconditional love is only up to you, since it is a love that doesn't ask for anything in return, but only that you give it, the person who gives the unconditional love is the one who benefits immensely. I remember writing in one of my books that I felt as if it was work that I that I felt as if I was working for God. I didn't need to receive anything from any other person, in, especially the person in front of me. I didn't need to receive anything from them. I was like um, a public service <laughs> person, giving service to other people. And my salary was received from my employer. I would get what I uh, earned, not from the other person in front of me, but rather from God. When you have the attitude that you don't need to get anything in return from the person uh, that you are interacting with uh, for the good that you are giving them or doing for them, because you are working in the service of God, then you are less judgmental of the behavior of others and you are more understanding and you are more at peace and harmony with yourself. You may even feel feelings of sorrow for some people because they have still not found a way to connect with the light that is inside of them. Now, almost every day, I even reach a point of crying, of joy, from feelings of gratitude that I have for all, for all that I have. And it is this ecstatic state that I feel during my morning uh, meditations. And we can all feel this abundance that we really have, the gratitude for everything we have. And we can give unconditional love when we know that we are getting this unconditional love back from our Creator, always. We are always forgiven, we are always loved, we are always cared for, and we are always understood no matter how we seem to see our life situation. In fact, all of the experiences we have in life are given to us from a place of love. When we create our situations through our thoughts, this is showing us that we are loved and that we are powerful and that we can create our life through our thoughts. And also, when difficult situations seem to come out of the blue, even when we don't understand any connection to ourselves, they just happen to us, then they are there to bring us to a place of understanding that we are love and that we all come from love, and that we all go back to love, unconditional love. Now, it is not always to see the connection between all people and all situations, but when we understand that all people are doing their best with the level of understanding that they currently have, then we can be happier with other people's difficult uh, behaviors at times. The most important thing gained from loving unconditionally is really the inner peace that it gives you. A life free of expectation and a life of enjoying what is there in front of you in the present moment. This is true inner peace. I say that if it is there in front of you, it means that it is perfect. It is the perfect experience for you at this moment to improve yourself, become better and become more loving and to show your real gifts and let your light shine through. Every morning is the space allowing you to either be your best version of yourself or something that is less than that, and it is always your choice. So, as always with these, I do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. So, the question of the day is, where am I in my life? Am I not giving myself or others unconditional love and where can I accept myself and others as a reflection of divinity 
Where do I still need to work on seeing the present moment as a perfect moment, as a present? So as usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook that you have, especially for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over them and improve your life and see how your life is improving with time. The affirmation of the day is, I am whole and complete and I radiate unconditional love to the whole world around me. I am unconditional love. I am whole and complete and I radiate unconditional love to the whole world around me. I am unconditional love. Now tell this to yourself as many times as a day as you remember to do because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently and have a happier, healthier and better life. So thank you very much for joining me. I wish you a wonderful day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you can get these daily uh, motivational, inspirational videos. Um, and um, please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to do with health and improving your health and leading a life that you desire. Thank you very much for joining me.